Welcome back to Dark Souls everyone. Now I think it's time we go and spend all the souls we got from last episode. Um, I have 2930 which should... What the hell? Okay, I mean I came in here by accident and that never happened before. Uh, whatever. So I wanted to come here and talk to this guy and hopefully everything should work out. Oh. You skip the dialogue. Uh, which one is it? I think this is the one I want. Seek guidance. Nope. This is not the one I wanted. And there was a spell I wanted to buy. But yeah, I don't have enough for anything. This one's useless, pretty much. Ah, whatever. Come again. Be I think I mi mixed up so two spells. I wanted to buy the one that allows you to shoot lightning, but that it will probably take a while. Um, yeah, we're not gonna get that for a while. So we might as well just level up. And I don't even know. Faith? Or... <coughs> I don't know. We have enough strength, endurance and vitality. Do I wanna go... Dexterity? No. Ah. Uh, I should plan these things out more. Let's go for endurance, whatever. Yes. This should help us a bit. Now, what we need to plan out is where we're going to go. Because we have several options. We can go down there to a blight town. Uh, and to the new Londo ruins and proceed there or we can go back to where um, the that titan demon is next to the blacksmith and do stuff there or we could go back to the undead burg because there are several new areas we can unlock but I think I'm gonna go into the forest first. Hopefully I can actually defeat that demon now. I have enough strength and everything. Yeah, en endurance definitely improves your stamina a lot. Which is good because um, axes and maces and these kind of heavy weapons take up a lot of endurance. So we're going back to the undead parish again, our familiar old area. And I mean, I really hope this works. Because if I can defeat the bell gargoyles, those guys should be no problem. I mean, that guy should be no problem. These guys are incredibly easy now. And let's kill him. One thing I found kind of strange is that I didn't even get humanity from Longsword Useless. Didn't even get humanity from the Bell Gargoyles. Usually I thought that bosses give you humanity. Mm, whatever. I can do without it. Really the only thing humanity is useful for is summoning those NPCs, but you can only do that in certain areas. Let's see, that gate is probably still closed. I have no idea how to open it, that probably comes into play a lot later. Now come on, I really really want to kill this guy. 
because he he defeated me at least three times and now I think it's time for revenge shit just be careful the problem with him is that he has like a huge swing but the, I nearly defeated him last time and I did that by luring him to these stairs and here he cannot really hit me all that well oops what the hell he still barely touched me oh whatever I'm not sure how you can kill this guy effectively I know I, I read somewhere that magic works really well against him and you can use arrows but I think you need like 120 arrows to kill him and that is way too much basically all you do is if you stand behind a certain pillar all he'll do is cast spells and he won't be able to hit you and all you do is fire your arrows but I mean that is so boring yeah definitely not gonna do that especially since I can't even use bows and bow and arrows properly because I don't have enough dexterity I always forget what that is okay let's try this again if this doesn't work I cannot kill him I'm just gonna run past him because you don't have to defeat him technically it's kind of like I'm kind of OCD in that respect if there's like a mini boss or something I definitely want to kill it okay I hate it when they jump away like that. No. Didn't want to get hit, but whatever. It's so much easier now that you can that I can kill these guys with two hits. And the bigger ones, the knights, they go down much easier as well. okay let's try this again I think I wasn't defending enough last time as being too aggressive which is never good in this game uh, maybe I should yeah I'll just rest here just so that I don't have to go all the way back yeah the firelink shrine is actually a pretty good place cuz the bonfire there is kindled and it gives you 10 Estus flasks. Okay, let's do this. I'm not even gonna. Okay, that was good. Not even gonna try to hit him now. Let's just wait for him to get over here. <coughs> we might as well get our body while we're at it. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to lure him. come on this guy is extremely annoying and he's pretty tough too let's see what and it's, di and it's difficult to hit him as well Uh, I don't have a I have a bad feeling about this I cannot even hit him okay this is the place excellent see from here you can hit him and he cannot really do anything to you But I still want to be careful of his tail at least. Oh. Luckily you can kind of get away from him. And use your Estus flasks.
Damn, he's more powerful than those stupid gargoyles. Okay, luckily you can guard all his attacks. Shit. Okay, you know what? I had enough of this guy. My problem is that if I cannot h kill him, how am I going to kill all the enemies that are in the next area? Cause, I mean this guy is guarding the entrance, so maybe I'm not powerful enough to go there yet. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my, is I'm gonna get my body, and I'm gonna go back to the undead burg. And there is a place that you can... There is a door that you can unlock now. And I'm going to do that. Just get my body. Or my souls or whatever. And... I know I've been defeated by this guy. Many times. I had to retreat like... This is like the seventh time. But, I mean, this is what this game is all about. You get killed and then you learn from your mistakes. Okay, so let's try a different approach. One thing that's nice, because I mean I played parts of Demon Souls and Demon Souls was kind of linear. So if there was a place where you were stuck, there were like no alternatives. You were stuck there and that's it, you had to deal with that. But in this game, you actually have like options on where to go, which is appreciated because if you're stuck at a frustrating bro boss, you can always just go somewhere else, you know. I mean, even with the bell gargoyles, I mean, I wanted to defeat them, but I didn't have to. I mean, I could have gone elsewhere. Uh, let's see if we can actually do this right. Sometimes, no. Sometimes I can sneak up on this guy. But he goes down pretty quick. No. Nope. Shit. Okay, he's dead, whatever. That's all that matters. Nope, this way. Maybe I should have just opened that gate. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry this episode is kind of all over the place. Um, I didn't re really... Well, I mean, I had a plan. But... Yeah, I don't think I can defeat that demon yet. Because that was my plan, killing it. Then moving on, but that's not gonna work. Also, what I've noticed, I've been getting a lot better at parrying stuff. Um, I don't have it on recording because those were the takes I cut out. You know, when I was defeated by the gargoyle. Uh, okay, I'm nearly dead. So I'm not gonna experiment with it now. Oh, shit. Be careful. Come on. What the hell? Why are there so many of these guys? Okay, I'm extremely lucky. I didn't get killed. Let's just heal up. And move on. Yeah, parrying is gonna... Me demonstrating my parrying abilities, that's gonna have to wait. Maybe with this guy we can do it. Nope. Whatever. Well, you can kind of guess what it does. Okay, <coughs> so we're going back. 
Um, I'm up to 15 minutes already. I didn't want this episode to be this long, but but it turned out this way. Luckily, these guys die a lot faster now. Let's see if we can. No. Shit. I pressed attack by accident. You know what, I think this is kind of a sign that I should end the episode here. I mean, we got nothing done, but... Ah, uh, whatever. We killed a boss in the last episode, so... Next time I think I'm gonna just meet you back at that place after the rats. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.